Hello friends, this is Imran. In today's video, we are going to learn about how we can create any form, how we can extrude any surface, how we can give the offset and we'll learn about some basic uh, editing tools. For that, let's uh, begin with the lesson with creating any form. So for creating any form, you need to go to the edit section. Here you can see this uh, create uh, option. So once you click on the create, you can see there are like so many shapes which magics offer us so box cylinder tube uh, cone shape so any shape you want to create you just need to give the dimension it is giving us the guidance let's say d2 the dimension is there so whatever the form you need to make you just need to uh, write the dimension of it and then you can create let's say i'm right now i'm beginning with the uh, with the box shape so i need a box of 20 by 40 by 100 uh, and then i just need to click on ok now you can see the that rectangular box has been created so, same as that uh, for the move i just press t button and i'm moving the object then apply ok close now let's say i want to create another shape that is a cylinder now i click on the cylinder part the dimension d is showing us the diameter i need a diameter of uh, uh, i can say 50 and then height i need somewhere around 80 and then okay so this is how we can actually create a form so now let's say you want to extrude any surface you need to increase the height of this uh, model or you need to change the shape of this you need to uh, extrude this surface 10 centimeter or like 10 mm so there are like two ways of doing that either like let's say here i want to increase the height of this uh, this cylinder so i can do it with two ways as we learned in the previous video we can rescale that is control plus r and uh, I just want to uh, extrude the uh, the model in Z direction so like right now it is 80 and as I am not changing any other uh, dimensions so I will uncheck keep it unchecked uh, uniform rescale and I will write Z uh, dimension as 100 mm that is 10 centimeters and then apply so you can see I have changed the dimension same as that now if I press ctrl Z to undo and now I am going to the bottom section here you can see there are like some kind of selection uh, tools so if I select on the triangular mark it will select any triangle shape but if I select on a plane it will select the whole plane now let's say i want to extrude it to 20 cent 20 mm more to make the full uh, to make the height of the cylinder 100 centimeter 100 uh, mm for that i have selected the surface already from these tools from the surface selection then click on the extrude the shortcut for the extrude is control plus e click on that then you can see here it is uh, showing us the offset like how much offset I need to give right now you can see the Z direction the uh, the model height is 80 I want to uh, increase 20 mm more so I will write 20 mm and then uh, either I can say automatically select the option I either I can write as like uh, move points I either I can say like uh, add triangles what add triangle will do it will like create another shape like there will be like a double layer otherwise i can just select the same points and it will move the same points to the upper direction we can also uh, give the direction of it let's say right now i have already written the the uh, value 20 and then click apply now you can see we have already already increased the height of this cylinder Another way of uh, doing it with the is with the offset tool as well. Offset can also help us increasing the height 
or like we can reduce also the same thing we can do with both the things with extrusion or with the offset so let's say i want to uh, move this uh, the same thing 20 centimeter inside and then here for that i just need to select on the direction inside and i'm moving it 20 centimeter back to the origin position and i'm moving the points i'm not adding the new points i'm just moving the points and then click apply so now you can see it come came back to this uh, exact dimension what happened if if i uh, tick on the add triangle and then i move let's try with that now you can see it has created a new layer and then it actually ruined my shape it is now the file is not fixed so that is why i will always recommend you if you are doing such thing just click or just uh, tick on the move point so it will just move the same uh, same points from the same position and it will not it is not actually creating a new triangular or new plane for that now we will learn about uh, some other options let's say i want to make this cylindrical the edges i want to make it flat so that also editing tools uh, for the flat there is no command for chamfer also there is no command click on the flat option you have already selected any surface like uh, the model the, you can see that the white tick is there uh, already selected on this cylindrical part now when i move the pointer to any any edge it is showing me a blue line and i can give the radius like let's say i want to make it 5 mm and then once i click on it it, it is showing me okay the 5 mm after clicking it is, it is giving me a rough idea of it like a, how, how it will be created if i am okay with that i can click on apply and then you can see i have created a flit now if i want to make the chamfer of the it of it i what i can do the same thing uh first of all i need to select the model okay and then chamfer then i need i need to select any of these types and let's say i want to do it uh, uh somewhere around seven and then i have selected this i have selected this i have selected three of these uh, edges and apply you can see i have created the fillet i can click it as many times i can do the editing i can create anything from the fillet thing okay so uh this gives us the idea of the flit chamfer extrude offset now one more thing which is important sometimes we uh when we open and work work working on any kind of mesh file and there is no thickness let's say right now i have selected this object and from the bottom menu i'm just uh, separating the mark part so what it will do i have created i have actually split that this part now this uh, plane this thing is actually a mesh it is not a solid part and i want to give a thickness to this part what i can do i can select the part okay and then i will go i will click on the surface to solid click on it give the thickness let's say i want to create it as a tense i want to create it 5 mm thick and then press ok now you can see i have created uh i have created a thickness of the of the of the uh of that mesh but here you can notice i have got this uh, chamfer from all the sides there is a reason i have got, i have got that so for that i just need to undo surface to solid and if you notice here i have uh, selected to the slope edge that i can uncheck okay and then i can write okay no it doesn't work again i want to click check i want a straight edge and then i can uh, angle we don't need okay now you can see 
uh, it doesn't create any kind of chamfer or like any kind of slopage and we have created the, the thickness of the mesh <coughs> so friends this is the end of this video and we will move forward to the end of the one if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment section thank you